और टूडेज लेसन इज सीडो यूनिमोलिकुलर रिएक्शन हुई बिलोंग्स टू केमिकल कानेटिक्स ओके सो लेट इज कंसिडर अ रिएक्शन से ए प्लस बी टू फॉर्म द प्रोडक्ट पी लेट इज कंसिडर ए सेकेंड ऑर्डर रिएक्शन से दिस इज अ सेकेंड ऑर्डर रिएक्शन नाउ इनिशियल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ए initial concentration of a say small a and initial concentration of b is small b and initial concentration of the product is zero now concentration after time t concentration after time t it becomes say a minus x this one becomes b minus x and this one is x here the assumption is that the a and b reacts in the same extent so both are x okay now rate of the reaction rate of the reaction say this is equal to minus d into concentration a dt this is equal to rate constant k into concentration a to the power 1 into concentration b to the power 1 since it is a second order reaction both uh, first order with respect to concentration of a and first order with respect to the reactant b now <coughs> this one is minus d of a minus x dt this is equal to k into a minus x to the power 1 b minus x to the power 1 this is dx dt this is equal to k into a minus x into b minus x okay now dx by a minus x into b minus x gives us k into dt now the, this is the differential form of the second order reaction now on integration on integration the equation yields integration dx a minus x into b minus x this is equal to integration k into dt the lower limit is zero say when t equal to zero then x equal to zero when t equal to zero then x was nothing it is zero and when t equal to say some limit of t1 say this is equal to x1 now we have to uh, solve this integration integration by partial fraction method this is 1 by b minus a yields into integration sorry 1 by a minus x minus 1 by b minus x <coughs> our limit is 0 to x1 dx this is equal to this is equal to k into integration 0 to t1 dt since uh, k is independent of time now this one gives us 1 by b minus a into minus minus ln a minus x since this is a negative sign before the variable minus then minus into minus this is plus ln b minus x our limit is 0 to x1 and this one equal to k into t1 
ओके नेक्स्ट वन बाय बी माइनस ए गिव्स अस एल एन इनटू बी माइनस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय ए माइनस एक्स आवर लिमिट इज जीरो टू एक्स वन दिस इज इक्वल टू के इनटू टी वन ओके नेक्स्ट पुटिंग द लिमिट हियर वन बाय बी माइनस ए एल एन बी माइनस एक्स ए माइनस एक्स माइनस एल एन बी बाय ए दिस इज इक्वल टू के इनटू टी वन ओके दिस इज इक्वल टू वन बाय बी माइनस ए दिस इज इनटू एल एन माइनस सो ए इनटू बी माइनस एक्स इनटू बी इनटू ए माइनस एक्स दिस इज इक्वल टू के इनटू टी वन ओके दिस इज नॉट एक्स दिस इज एक्स वन पुटिंग द लिमिट दिस इज एक्स वन दिस इज एक्स वन एंड दिस इज एक्स वन ओके नाउ दिस इज आर इंटीग्रेटेड फॉर्म ऑफ द सेकेंड ऑर्डर रिएक्शन वेर द इनिशियल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द टू रिएक्टेंट्स वॉज ए एंड बी नाउ let us uh, take some assumption let us take some uh, approximations here uh, say our approximation is approximations approximations our approximation is uh, is say b is very very greater than a now what will happen now if b is very very less than uh, very very greater than a then uh, b minus a gives us almost equal to b uh, b minus x this is almost equal to b okay or say this is x1 okay now uh, putting these approximations to the above equation we have 1 by 1 by b into ln ln ab divided by b into a minus x a minus x1 this is equal to k into t1 okay now this equals to 1 by b into ln a by a minus x1 this is equal to k into t1 definitely b not equal to 0 okay our last line ln a by a minus x1 this is equal to say some constant k into some constant k1 into t1 okay so this is our integrated form where this approximation is made now take a close close look here this equation this is actually the integrated form of the first order reaction so what we get we have started from a second order reaction where initial concentration of the two reactants were different now we um, we got we come to a equation where the initial uh, which is a first order uh, which is a integrated form of a first order reaction now what approximation um, what approximations uh, have been made uh, b is very very greater than a so if the concentration of b this one be very very greater than a then the second order re reaction becomes a first order with respect to the with respect to the reactant which is present is lesser amount say here a, a is present is lesser amount uh, because a is very very less than b so this is a first order uh, integrated form of a first order reaction with respect to the reactant which is present in lesser amount <laughs> so now take some example here take some example here of pseudo unimolecular reaction 
Uh, now, come to the point why these reactions are called pseudo unimolecular reaction. This is a second order reaction, but uh, after making this approximation, uh, we come uh, to the integrated form of a first order reaction. So, it looks like a second order reaction, but actually, when the initial concentration of one react reactant is very much greater than the other, then it will convert it to a first order reaction. So, this is known as pseudo unimolecular reaction. That's why it is known as pseudo unimolecular reaction. Okay, let us take some example here. <coughs> take some example here. Say hydrolysis of ester. Take some example here. Hydrolysis of ester. Hydrolysis of ester. So, for example, CH3 C double O C2H5. This is ethyl acetate molecule. It reacts with water in presence of catalytic amount of H plus to form the product acetic acid and ethyl alcohol. So, this reaction is carried out in large excess of water. This water is taken in large excess. So, the concentration of this water is very much greater with respect to the concentration of this ester. So, uh, so this reaction, this is, looks like a second order reaction, but actually it is converted to a first order reaction. So, this is known as pseudo unimolecular reaction. Uh, let us take another example, the last example here. Say hydrolysis of sucrose. Hydrolysis of sucrose molecule. We know the formula of sucrose is C12H22O11 on reaction with water in presence of of course catalytic amount of H plus. It will produce C6H12O6 plus again C6H12O6. Definitely this is molecule of glucose and this is the molecule of fructose. So again this water is taken in large excess. So when this water is taken in large excess with respect to the concentration of this sucrose it will convert it to a first order reaction. So these are the reactions which looks like a second order reaction but actually when the concentration of one react reactant is very much greater with respect to the other one then it will be converted to a first order reaction. So these are pseudo unimolecular reaction. This is all about our lesson. Thank you. Thank you for watching.